Hello, hello, hello. This is Rudy Rodriguez Shomat here with my comrade Nick Taylor. Uh, we are missing one of our trio <clears throat> tonight, Donald. Uh, he's out with the flu. Uh, really, I don't know <laughs> where the hell he is, but flu it's game. a Friday night. <laughs> Where's he at? The flu game, baby. He out the with flu the flu game. <laughs> he's out with the flu, but it's, but it's Friday night, and we really wanted to jump on here real quick. This is the Come On Now podcast. You know, we thank all of our subscribers and listeners and followers. We truly appreciate you. So remember to like, subscribe, and uh, hit the bell, and follow us on all of our social media platforms. But we wanted to get on here tonight real fast because there's something that's popping in Los Angeles right now. Yesterday, there was an unveiling of Kobe Bryant's statue at the Crypto.com Arena, and Laker fans are in a frenzy because one person named LeBron James was not at the ceremony. <clears throat> there were many, many Laker greats, including current Laker teammates, current Lakers that were there, coaches from the Lakers, but missing was LeBron James. What do you think about that, Nick? I don't have a problem with it, man. Everybody's always harping about what LeBron do. He's not obligated to be there. And since he's not obligated to be there, he don't have to be there. But everybody wants to be in everybody's business. That's the problem because of social media nowadays. Everybody's in this other person's business that don't even know you. But y'all think that he has to do what you want him to do. He don't have to do what you want him to do. And let's take it back to even a different a different state of mind right now. Let's take it back. Will Kobe Bryant have been there? No, Kobe Bryant would have been focused at the task at hand. The task at hand that night was the Denver Nuggets. And that's what Kobe would have been on. Kobe's not worried about no damn statue. And and I think LeBron was, I don't know what he did. I don't, I don't care. Did he show up for the game? That's what I care about. Does he play in the games? I don't care what he does on his own time. On his own time is his own time. Was AD there? No. So it wasn't just LeBron. So why are we just why are we just worried about what LeBron did? Oh, because LeBron and Kobe. Everybody had a had a relationship with Kobe. That would mean everybody had to be there. Oh, just because he was in the city, he plays for them. No, the man can do whatever he wants. He's not obligated to be there. Was Vanessa Bryant? Did she call him up and say, "Hey, LeBron, you have to be there"? Did Jimmy Buzz say you have to be there? No, nobody said that he had to be there. So I don't know what he had to do on his own time. He, it's his time. He did what, he, what the hell he wanted to do. But we are so enamored about celebrities and what the fuck they do. Mind your own business. Mind the business that pay you. And none of, that, none of the NBA players are paying you, so mind their damn business, please. Okay, so um, I actually w watched the entire presentation. It was actually in total about 45 minutes. Uh, I've seen chopped up versions that were 22 minutes. But the reality is this, and this is just my opinion, and it seems to be the opinion of many, many Lakers fans and many people around the NBA. LeBron James has a, such a busy schedule that his coach, the assistant coach, Two of his, at least two of his teammates, Austin Reeves and Rui Hachimura, who never played with Kobe Bryant ever in any capacity, were there. I think the entire Lakers team should have been there personally, including LeBron. But LeBron played with Kobe on the Olympic team twice, right? Or once? Yep. At least no. once, I know. One time. At least once. At one least time. once, okay. He's supposedly his friend, I presume. Maybe not. I, I, I don't know. But, um, I took a I watched that video and people that they showed in the crowd cuz you know LeBron never shies away from the camera he's always looking for attention cuz he's a world class narcissist who always wants it to be about him maybe he was pissed off the Lakers didn't make a trade to save his ass again I what would that have been the 189th trade for LeBron while he's not for one of the teams he's on Kareem who is 70 plus years old who broke his leg about a month ago managed to be there. He didn't play with with Kobe, James Worthy, Magic Johnson, his wife, Pal Gasol, Austin Reeves, Rui Hachimura. They were they by the way, they were in their workout clothes. Phil Handy, 
Darvin Ham, Phil Jackson, Ron Artest, a.k.a. Metal World Peace, a.k.a. whatever the heck you want to call him now, Lamar Odom, Jamal Wilkes, Derek Fisher, Robert Ory, A.C. Green, Dwayne Wade was there, Larry Nance Jr., Jerry West, and the commissioner of the NBA, Adam Silver, managed to fly from New York City to a scheduled event that was scheduled long in advance. It wasn't all of a sudden announced yesterday or announced on Monday. It was scheduled in advance for a special day, 2-8-24. Why? The num- his jersey numbers, and I think that's the number of his jersey of his daughter. Mm-hmm. So this was done st- strategically in memory of him. You are the face of the league still to this day. You are the face of the Lakers. I understand there is no obligation to go. Okay. There is no obligation to do anything in life, actually. There's no obligation to be a good father. There's no obligation to be a good, a good mother. There's no obligation to be a good husband, wife, boyfriend, girlfriend, employee. You are not obligated to do anything you don't want to do. So clearly he did not want to do it. That said, there are things that you're supposed to do. But we don't know that. We don't know, what, things, he was doing we don't know what. What don't we know? We don't know what he was doing at that moment. We don't. We don't. But his teammate, he has teammates there, so I don't want to hear that LeBron was having ice put on his ankles or yeah. having his massa- his hamstring massaged. He's getting ready for the for, game. Maybe he's getting ready. Getting, for the re- getting ready for the game. That's maybe maybe getting ready on his body needed to be done at that moment to get, get ready getting, for the game that was coming. Getting ready. For, Getting ready for a game that's in a few hours. I mean, I, I I don't know. He really needs to shoot up a whole bunch of jump shots to get ready for a game. Man has I a mean, routine for a game. So would Kobe break his routine for anything? I don't know if he would. I don't know if he would break his routine to honor a deceased Laker who was his friend. Again, he's deceased. If he was alive, actually, it would be a lot. You know, but this is par for the course for LeBron James. Do we know if that's more than his work friend? I don't know what it is because you know what? I thought Dwayne Wade was LeBron James's friend and LeBron James chose to not show up to his Hall of Fame induction ceremony well, and the next day was seen with Draymond Green in Toronto hanging well, out. Why he do, also, why do why? we care what why do, another grown why do, man does? Why do why does anyone care about anything? Why do we, why do grown men why do why do grown men care about Sunday Super Bowl? Because it's the actual game that they get paid. No, to it's do. not. Who cares? It's a game. Yeah. Okay. Is so anyone gonna is watching. anyone gonna die on Sunday if we don't but, go? But don't watch. Does, but what he does after the game, that's none of my business. <clears throat> he could go sleep with another man for all I care, and that's not my business. Oh, but you'd be talking about it. No, I won't be because I don't care. That has nothing to do with me. That's the difference between me and a lot of people that's in this world. And that's the difference media. between you and probably about ninety nine percent of the world because there are well, things that you should do be no, for optics, no. and there are things that. I don't have to worry about nothing else but what's in my control, my family, the things that matter to me. I don't have to worry about anything else. You're right. That's what selfish, narcissistic fucks do. No, that's not. That's, that's exactly somebody, what they do. Because if you call someone, you're minding their own business, Rudy. I don't have like it would be. Would it have been nice for him to be there? Probably, but that is not required to be there, Rudy. So he did not be in there, and that's and, none of my and, business because. I don't. I don't mind what LeBron, do. Rudy. What you do outside of here, that's not my business. Of course, I'm your friend, and I will hang with you and do things with you. But I don't mind what you. If you don't show up to my kids' basketball game, that's I'm okay with that. You comparing a kids' basketball game to a once in a. This has only happened one time. This is the whoa, thing. Whoa, 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 there are whoa. things that only happen once whoa, ever. Are you saying that my kid's basketball game is not as important as Kobe? If you, if you actually, first of all, I don't know Kobe, but if you invited me to your kid's basketball game, I would go. But you, you if you invited, if, if you were invited me to your kid's basketball game, I would go. But, because that's but, how I am. I don't know if LeBron because got invited. It was an inv- okay. Austin Reeves was invited, but LeBron James wasn't no, invited. Austin it's an, it was. No, it was an invitation event under a tent in front of the crypto center, which is literally he could have walked out of the locker room, peeked his head in, shown his face, been there for ten minutes, and walked the hell out. Maybe LeBron didn't want Maybe, the attention. It, it, no, no, yeah, LeBron didn't want the attention. LeBron, who dunks at little kids' basketball games and warmups, who sits down during national anthems at the USC game, always looking for the freaking microphone. This is now the third thing that he's done recent in the last 
year where he doesn't show up at Dwayne Wade's induction ceremony for the Hall of Fame. That only happened one time in his life. I hope Dwayne Wade does not show up at his. Because that because this is the same guy that said the Miami Heat did not have any impact on him winning championships. That no one sacrificed for him down here. Okay. I don't think now he then meant, then, I don't think he then, meant then it like that. Um, no, it's you know he did say, he stated it very clearly. I think he meant um, that he was going to be LeBron regardless. Like, no, he wasn't because winning championships was something he had never done. And if he had stayed at Cleveland, he would have never won a championship because no one wanted to play in Cleveland. And you know how they got those guys to Cleveland? It's he left, they sucked, and they got the number one pick in the draft three straight years and three times in four seasons, and got Anthony Edwards, Anthony uh, what the hell was his name from UNLV? You're talking about Andrew Oh, you're talking about Bennett, what? Bennett, Andrew Bennett, and Anthony Bennett, Andrew Anthony Bennett. Bennett, Wiggins, Kyrie traded Wiggins to get Kevin Love. So if he doesn't leave, they never get those guys because nobody wanted to play in Cleveland, and he knew that. So he left. Now, and, and as soon as they had players and Dwayne Wade's knee was failing him, if Dwayne Wade's knee wasn't failing him, I don't think LeBron ever leaves. Um, but then he doesn't tell Dwayne Wade to give him enough time, and he fucks him out of $40 million. Like, that's what happened. Remember, Dwayne Wade lost a lot of money because of that late decision. You tell him, look, if you're going to leave, you leave. You tell me. But, I mean, we're supposed to be cool. We're supposed to be friends. I sacrificed for you as well. Because Dwayne Wade took less money than Chris Bosh and LeBron when they came when, over here. When we say he took less money, it was like, what? It, it, it's, it's, yeah, it's nominal. Okay. But it's, he, took, he took like half a million dollars less. Okay, exactly. Let's okay. That. But back then, that was $14 million. It wasn't 45 So... Wasn't but he, but, and then when, and it was fourteen and a half million. They got like three, all three of them, like between fourteen and fifteen million. So, th- but he's done this now consistently, where this is. Not, I mean, if this is my friend, I don't need enemies. I don't yeah. need an enemy like if this is my friend. And all I'm saying is we don't is, know. We don't know the inside part of it. All we're seeing is what we're seeing on the outside. Like. There's a lot of things that I don't know that you're doing behind the closed door. I don't know what LeBron. Of course, I don't. I, I damn sure don't know what LeBron's doing. <laughs> I don't know what D Wade is doing. Well, D, D Wade was there. But I'm I'm just saying. Wade was know, there. I'm just saying. Every day in their lifestyle, I don't know what they're doing, Rudy. We don't. So but we can assume we can assume LeBron was at the stadium. You can assume right? that don't mean he was there. It doesn't mean he was there, but we can assume it. If a 75-year-old broke-legged old man can walk, can get there, I'm sure LeBron could have been there for a few minutes. In the reality, it's an optics thing. There are things that, you, like I said, we're not obligated to do anything, but we, there are things that we should do. If someone passes away that's close to you, you should go to the funeral. Would be nice. You don't have to go, yeah. but you should go out of respect because you respect and care for that person. What if what if it, what if I'm not a funeral person? We don't know. These this is all I'm trying to you're say. You're not a funeral person. Yeah. Great. You know what? You suck up your not funeral person for yeah. that one moment because that's the last time you'll ever see that person's dead body ever again. And then they're gone. I, I hope you don't tell your any relatives of yours that because that would not Probably go over to. I'm not a funeral person. I'm not, I'm not either. I, I'm not either. I don't enjoy them. I went to my dad's. You think I enjoyed looking at my father's body in the casket? I'm not going. It wasn't. To enjoy- I'm not going to funerals. And and you know why? That's just you're not gonna. You, you wouldn't go to your mother. Your your. I don't know if you have your your brother. You would not go. Come on, Nick. I Come on, won't. Nick. Stop I, it. I probably won't, man. To be honest. Uh, with you. Jesus Christ. I guess uh, you're different than most people because most does people. That, does that mean I don't love them? That's uh, I don't know what it means because it's very odd to me that I mean that. I, that's that's what I'm trying to say. I, again, I'm talking about your family member, not some random person that you knew. I'm just saying. Does that mean I, I hope? Don't love I, I hope no. Does I don't know. That, maybe maybe mean, you don't. That, does that mean if my brother went or if my sister went that they love them more than I do? No. Um. Maybe. Because no, we no. all know people, we all know there are favorites. Every family has favorites. Yeah, I'm are you the favorite? favorite. I'm are the you favorite. the favorite? Yeah. <laughs> people will lie and say they don't have favorites. Everybody got a favorite. No, Deion I'm Sanders the... has told you that everyone he has favorites. No, I'm the favorite. I'm the favorite in the family. I'm being honest. <laughs> hey, and and you know what the best part about it was is that they got the shit kicked out of them that night by the Nuggets. They were down like double digits at the half. They, didn't get they lost the game. They lost by eight. But they were being blown out. I watched the they podcast. Up. 
They were up in the last. They came, group. They came back. Yeah, oh, I didn't they, know they came back. I wasn't watching the game, but they were being bludgeoned in the first I half. Think Denver went on like a 10-0 run <clears> in the game. Well, um, maybe if he, maybe if he had been at that ceremony, Kobe would have sent him some juju from heaven. Oh my gosh, y'all fans! Y'all fans! I'm, I'm not a Kobe fan. No, I'm, I'm not a Kobe fan. Fans, y'all fans or, some, or something else. I, I just, I, I just, you know, there. Look who Don. Look who Bob Donald. Up, Donald. Said, no, I have zero voice. I have zero voice. <laughs> was he yeah. sick now? He, he was. He was sick. Or, yeah, he, he was. was. Oh yeah, he was sick he Wednesday. Was sick. Yeah, that's he why they, the that podcast. was the hair was everywhere. Yeah, okay. Yeah, his, he had his Don King haircut going. Good. Yeah, so that's why Don, he really is suffering from the flu game today. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, end of the day, I think you. Sh- I think he was optically looks really bad. I don't think LeBron will be in LA next year. I think he will be gone. Might be. Um, where he goes, I have absolutely no idea. But I don't think he's in LA next year. Because it might not be. But he, no, he doesn't have to be. No, for sure, he doesn't have to. Be. He 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 can go wherever he wants, but. Lakers fans, I was watching a podcast today, or listening to it, it wasn't video. This guy was going absolutely bonkers. But everybody goes absolutely <clears throat> bonkers against LeBron every day. No, no, there are people that love LeBron. The Bron sexual community loves him, and they'll make excuses for him every which way, just like you just did. No, about no, obligations. But I'm not about obligations. I'm not a I'm not a Bron sexual. I don't. I <laughs> but you that, know what they are. No, but I I appreciate his game. But that's not even my favorite player or close. I just try to keep it real because there are people that are far left and far right, and I'm just in the middle, and I keep it honest. But we know we can't say that. You you are the you are the fence riding person. You ride the fence. No, I don't ride the fence. I just tell you. I just give you the other. You're Swiss. You're Switzerland. No, I give you the other point of view from an athlete stance. You know, from my mindset, just what I'll be thinking. I don't just judge. Like y'all do, and be so hypocritical and so. I'm not hypocritical. No, I, I would be there if I was if I was him. How is that hypocritical? Well, I'm just saying a lot of fans are hypocritical. When you get married, you invite. If you invite me to the wedding or ask me to be in the wedding, you think I wouldn't be there? Maybe. I'm not obligated. Well, maybe. Maybe. I'm not obligated. Maybe you're tired. I would be there on the way on the way there. I I went. I dude. I went. I flew to Texas for a wedding I didn't want to go to. Because oh. I was invited. Let's give Rudy the Man of the Year award. I, I, I mean, I deserve. I Where's was, and, and, the, and the funny thing was, I was sick as a dog. Where's Donald? The, 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 the cheering voice. Give me the clap. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I mean, and and I and it, yeah, my wife and I, we were both absolutely sick as dogs that weekend, and we flew to Texas to a wedding <laughs> because we said we would be there. We weren't obligated to go. I could have said, "Screw it, I'm not going. I don't feel good." I went. You're better than LeBron. Oh, I know that as as a person, yeah. I mean, I'm not a better basketball player, only on video games, maybe, but probably not even there because I don't play video games. Um, double dribble from Nintendo. Oh That's my it. gosh! NBA jams from whatever oh 1992 God. or whatever it was. Oh my! But God. hey, man, LeBron's the one that has to freaking wake, look himself in the mirror and and, and all that and deal with the the, the backlash because because. Laker Nation. I mean, he's he's about to get treated by the Lakers fans like The Rock did at WWE WrestleMania press conference yesterday in Vegas when they were booing him. The People's Champ got booed because they all want Cody Rhodes facing Roman Reigns, and The Rock had a look on his face like, "What the hell is yeah. going on?" Here? The, the crazy part is <laughs> these fans. They will be a okay if LeBron gets them to the finals and win it. They'll shut the fuck up. But he won't. Shut the fuck up. But he won't. I still but like. He won't. I still like them as the second best team in the East. I mean, in the West. Oh, they're in the. <laughs> I think in a, I think if they get to the playoffs, they're the toughest team to beat in a seven game series. Besides, them here in the West. I want. I wouldn't bet on nobody else. I want to be like, oh, okay, this team is outright to beat them in the seven game. You wouldn't bet on. You, you wouldn't bet on Steph. On Steph Ritless? I believe with Kaminga, with Kaminga now looking like he's somebody, he's and I like Kaminga. Play falling off, I think he'll probably find it back. But the rest of them, I don't, think, on, I don't think they're make the playoffs. They're too, they're too small. They're too small. They not, they still ain't fixed that issue of getting another big. I thought the White Howard would have been a big person for them to get, but then his whole situation happened, and I think that changed probably their mind, probably because he's going through a lot of court system stuff. 
Yeah. 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 I, I presume he is. Yeah. So. What country is he that, playing in now? That whole Philippines. Rare ended us all. It rear-ended us. <laughs> Ooh, we got the we got the, the the barbs coming right. The zingers right now coming out. <laughs> That's <laughs> true. <laughs> but yeah, we, we had to get on this to talk about this because I mean I think LeBron is uh, who he is, and he is a person that you know Nick thinks is not obligated, and that's cool. And I don't think he's obligated either. I just think optically it looks like shit. And there are things that you're supposed to do when you're the star of the league. He's still the star of the league, still the face of the league. If the, if the commissioner can fly 3,000 miles across the country, LeBron can take 50 steps out of the arena to go look at, look at the trophy, the statue, and, the and pay his homage. For every top thing or everything that's going on. So, I mean, and he had his phone up like this recording it. <laughs> <laughs> like a fan. Man. So, Mama mentality. Maybe Le- LeBron was. Oh, he tattooed that on his body, by the way. You oh, know that? That was LeBron was showing everybody mama mentality. But yet, <laughs> f the world. I'm not gonna come to a laser focus. Denver. Well, his, his, his laser focus ain't we worked off to work out too well. We are the eleven seed. We. But we're oh, trying to. No, I'm. I'm think. I'm saying it. Oh, uh, okay. I just, I'm just making sure you're not a little late. Game five hundred. We're trying to make the playoffs. We're the eleven seed. Lock in. <clears throat> The ele- no, they're the nine seed. The oh, oh my the, nine. the Warriors were the eleven seed. I'm the thinking. Warriors are eleven seed. Utah's ten. We're mm-hmm. never gonna get Laurie Markin in now because they're playing better and the we're trade all, deadline the passed. Trade deadline is over. Passed and I mean, and they're not gonna buy him out. So, um, <laughs> yeah, the Heat disappointed me yesterday. Not making any moves. I know we you already made a move. What, y'all, I don't get y'all Heat fans. <laughs> You were looking for a move yesterday, and you know it. No, we I was both. not because I you think we already made our move. I was if we could get Laurie Market and somebody to pair it, bam, maybe. But no, Tara Rozier and Tyler Hero cannot be on the court together. I got to give them a they little need, bit more time to watch. They need to put Tyler Hero's ass on the bench, bring him off the bench, that would be and nice. let him be a scorer because it, it, those two guys together start, are defensive. Are start defensive Duncan. liabilities. Well, they should always be starting Duncan. Oh, Absolutely. I don't get it. Always. I don't get he it. Should be, he should be starting at the three. And live with you can, let, and you can let Jimmy start it. You can let Jimmy, Jimmy play the four. I don't care. Let a, No one can guard him as a four. Fine. Exactly. I'm, I'm with you. And he's, str- and he's strong as hell. I'm but, with you. I agree. Yeah. I would start Duncan, and I would start uh, Rozier, and I'd, heck, I'd probably start Hawkins. Um, I agree with you. You know, unless I – because, I mean, you see what happened with Haywood Highsmith. I don't know. I don't know when he'll be back. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't seem like a DUI or anything in that nature, so he should nah, be. Nah. nah, I don't think he's going to jail. I think, emo- I mean, emotionally, he yeah, emotionally crashed might be someone and, and the person's leg got chopped off. I mean, that's horrifying. Yeah. Got amputated. I mean, that's a horrible, horrible thing. partially amputated. I don't even know what that means. Like the leg, like probably the knee, knee down. Mm-hmm. You can't, like, take off one bone and not the other. I think mm-hmm. can, like, right. from the, from the knee down, I mean, it's pretty horrible. Unfortunate. It's very- I mean, yeah. we should have t- we should have traded Caleb Martin last year when that was being asked for for Dame Lillard. <laughs> I mean, we held on to a role player who's not starting yeah. for Dame Lillard. We're going to play all around. We're getting into basketball. Man. I'm kind of happy. Yeah. happy time. This is your happy time. But uh, yeah. I'll let – it's time for us to go. Nick has a baby to take care of. I think he's sleeping, but, you know, I don't want him to make too much noise. I'm going to my, on my, on my fiance's booty. Mm. And we will see you guys next week. Oh, our podcast. We will like, see you Monday. Monday or Sunday Monday. night or Monday, Monday yeah. maybe. Yeah. Yeah, because we'll, we'll be dropping a podcast after the Super Bowl. And then we'll probably hit again on Wednesday. It'll probably mean that. Yeah, we'll, we'll yeah. Know yeah we have Donald's time. voice. So we'll, we'll be there. But uh, thank you all. Please subscribe, like, follow us, share us. We did drop a podcast today. You can check out my rant on. Everything. Caitlin Clark and Cheryl Swoops. Your rant on and, everything. And uh, Nick was talking. Nick got a, a, a crew of henchmen. I got a crew of henchmen. Those are the tough dudes from the from the NBA. I saw a video there with Matt Barnes where he said he almost got into a fight with uh, Zebo because Zebo kept fight kept fouling the crap out of Blake Griffin. And said I was going to risk my life yeah. to protect Blake Blake Griffin. <laughs> 
Matt Barber is crazy. <laughs> He's crazy. He, he drove 95 miles to go punch Derek Fisher in the face. Oh, a quick question before you get off. Just dive in for yeah. 20 seconds. Yeah. Will yeah. you prefer Russell Westbrook career or Chris Paul? Damn. Oh, I threw you a, a dime, dime. Damn. That's a dime right there. God. Neither guy has won. Mm. I think Russell Westbrook's a better player. So this is what I said. I will prefer Russell career, but if I needed a point guard, give me CP3. Yeah, I mean, but how old is CP3 now? I'm just saying. 37, 38. I'm just looking at their career. You, you mean the inter- entirety? Entire. Yeah, if, you, if I need a point guard, I think CP3's made every team he's ever been on better, mm-hmm. um, except for the Golden State Warriors, <laughs> because he's because there he's just too old, and they're they're like he plays the same position as Steph, which makes it kind of ridiculous. Um, but yeah, if I'm looking for a point guard for the duration of his career, I mean he was as good as it gets mm-hmm. in making teams better, making hitting big shots. Uh, <clears throat> but always getting hurt at the wrong time. Yeah, I think if Chris Paul really wanted to, especially early in his career, he could have been a 25-point-a-game scorer. He was absolutely that dynamic. Absolutely. Nobody could stop him. Mm-hmm. I think that my problem was with him that he was too much of a point guard sometimes because nobody could guard him. Mm-hmm. When they played the Lakers in the playoffs, they had nobody for him. And he continually wanted to get others involved. And I was like, Derek Fisher, none of these guys could guard you. And if they mm-hmm. put Kobe on you, you can't, he can't guard you any either. Because he was that no. dynamic at that time. Mm-hmm. No, I mean, he, I mean, when he was with the Rockets with Harden, I mean, he would win games by himself. If he didn't get you hurt, know, he, I don't know. If he, he just always got hurt. You if he didn't know, get and, hurt in that game six. Oh. oh, they would have won that series. It was game five I thought he got hurt. Because they lost game six and mm-hmm. game seven against the Warriors. Mm-hmm. They would have won that series. I'm not even like, saying they won, think... but it would have been a way better chance. The way they were playing. I mean, remember, he was hitting shots. And he was he was hitting them. He, he was, was hitting him. shots. He was, he was killing him. In front of Curry. He was killing them. Yeah. So, no, I agree with you on that. Now, as far as Westbrook, I mean, Westbrook, God. I, He's gonna I love how, I mean, Westbrook plays a thousand yeah. miles an hour. You'll never wonder if he, he is giving effort. He just had some point guard savvy. <laughs> knowing when to slow down. Knowing when to, like, control the game. Like. And not uh, he doesn't be at a hundred. He doesn't. That's oh the problem. Oh my gosh, he would have been a top. He doesn't. Oh, player. yeah, he doesn't. And that's the. I mean, that goes back to the Dan Campbell commentary. You can't always go for it on fourth down. Well, Westbrook is going for it. <laughs> fourth, down. and we won our semifinal soccer game last night, three to one. We okay. fell behind. We fell behind one zero. You're nervous. Eleven, 11 seconds into the game. You are nervous, coach? Oh hell yeah. I was probably the most – we we kicked off. We had the ball. We lost the ball. They took the ball from one end of the field. I had a, I was trying to record this game because I figured we would win the game. They dribble all the way down the field, pass, pass, goal. 11 seconds in, we're down 1-0. We've given up six goals all year, and we're down one nothing. And you're sitting here like, what the fuck just happened? And I'm like, talk about focus the entire time before the game. You can't lose focus. We lost focus 11 seconds in. And we comp- then dominated the entire game. We were peppering them with shots. We tied yeah. it up in the in the first half. Took the lead early second half. My son hit two goals. Put it away. You know, midway through this, the probably late in the third in the second half. And then I just go back to I go back to what I say. Like, mm-hmm. screw being aggressive. We're protecting our side. Yeah. Boom the ball into the net. Kick it out of bounds. Let them chase it down. Let them burn off clock. Mm-hmm. They run out of clock, and we uh, we we're going to the championship to play the team that we beat well, two to one earlier this year, and it'll be the it'll be a tough ass game. We better be ready. We better not lose focus. Well, good luck, Rudy. Team is good. Okay. I gotta finish 30, 30 wins on my career as a soccer coach. Okay, <laughs> good luck. Do your thing. I'm about to go rub on so, them. I'm about to go rub on them. Rub- All right. So everyone, uh, thank you very much. Like, subscribe, and share this video, man. Have a good one.